Hello and welcome to a Suntop unboxing of sorts. I mean, it's Suntop. A very, very thick package from Suntop. Um, this, as you couldn't tell by the name of the video, is an unboxing of the covers collection. This, uh, I don't know how this is going to work on video. I have the camera set to ultra wide, zoomed out, so I could get like the, uh, the full height of the box in frame, but I know that is going to deter the quality a little bit. So we're going to see how it turns out. So maybe it'll turn out nicely. We shall see. Beautiful SunTup tape that one gets with all of their SunTup boxes. All of their Suntup unboxings, I was going to say, which I guess if you are doing an unboxing of Suntup, then you will also get this tape. And there is tape galore on this. So, uh, the covers collection, which has been running for several years, was Paul Suntup's way of making these beautiful, beautiful prints of Stephen King's book covers. Many of which, when the author is available or signed by the author, uh, a vast majority, like 99% of the ones in this, are not signed by the authors because the authors have passed away. But uh, anyways, man, wow. So the covers collection is coming to an end. Uh, the final one, which is going to be Michael Whalen's cover for the Dark Tower. Uh, that's coming out on June 1st, I believe, is when it's actually being released, although it is already sold out. Like, there were remarks for the large ones that sold out immediately. There's this nice cardboard covering with the SunTup logo, the Lion one, on it. Uh, so, sorry, as I was saying, the large remarks sold out immediately. And the large ones followed shortly after. I'm really nervous about cutting this, but it's, I mean, I have to. It's, uh, you know, it's holding down the package, which there's Suntup wrapping paper. Can we just take a moment and appreciate that? That is beautiful. I've bought, I've purchased, uh, I've purchased several, and I say several as being just a few. Uh, covers in the cover collection before. But I've never gotten wrapping paper like this with it. So, this is awesome. Holy crap. I didn't know that this was such a thing. Um, but I did order a copy of the Dark Tower, the Wayland print. Um, this is a small version. These are all small versions. You know, I'm sure the larger one gives you more room for the beautiful artwork, but the small is sufficient for me. The way I look at it is the smaller one is a little bit cheaper. So being a little bit cheaper, it means I can buy more prints. And being a little bit smaller, if I get them framed and hanging up on the wall, I can fit more prints. So let's get the cardboard out of there. Woo. This is a hefty package of SunTup wrapping paper that I really don't want to damage. I'm going to try to carefully open this as best I can without actually tearing into the paper. But holy crap. This is really cool. Uh, so when SunTup, when Paul announced the end of an era, the end of the, the covers collection era, he released a code, a discount code that would got... 20% off all in stock prints. So I went ahead and uh, bought some. Uh, too many, one, one might argue, but my wallet would certainly argue, but I think it was worth it. Um, <clears throat> all the ones I purchased, with the exception of one, are uh, cheaper prints compared to some of the other ones. Like most of them run about $100. Uh, I got a lot of cheaper ones. Uh, particularly the Dan Brodigan ones. Uh, not that you can really see anything through this. <laughs> but the uh, Dan Brodigan, Don Brodigan, 
Call him Dan. Donald. Good old Donald. Uh, brought again. He passed away some years back. Wow. Okay. Each of these comes with a certificate of authenticity featuring Paul Suntup's signature and a facsimile of Brodigan's uh, signature. There is the dark half from the 91 paperback right there. Nice stamping of the Suntup logo on it. Very nice. Keeping those with the prints, of course. Now, I, I'm going to try my best to show these all. I don't know that I will be able to. I'm already on six minutes, and I just got the first print out. Uh, this is the dark half, the halfback, Don Brodigan. You can see on the bottom there, you have the title, as well as the Suntup logo. You still have the stamping of the Suntup there. Wow. One thing the camera is not going to be able to pick up is just how vivid this is. I mean, it, you know, it's a lot of black, but maybe we can get the back of it. You might be able to see the texture better. No, nope, doesn't appear so. This is like some high quality uh, Zicle paper right there. Just beautiful. I'm going to try to safely put this back in here. Watch as I fail on camera. The other ones that I have are still in their uh, housing. You know what? I'll do that off camera. They're still in their little plastic sleeves. Uh, next up, we have The Running Man. This is number 10 of 50 right there. Another Brodigan one. Not that you can really tell through the sleeve, but let's bust it open. Pull it out. Take a look-see. Excuse me as I do this off camera. Oh, well, this one's coming out with the sleeve there. Oh my god. That is, of course, the Running Man, the Richard Bachman cover. Right down there, Running Man 82. That is just vivid. I said you can't really get a good look at it through the lens of a camera. But we're going to try. We can get what we can. Next up, another Brodigam. Lots of Brodigams. They were cheaper. Uh, likely due to him not being around to sign it, I suppose. Uh, this is the Bachman Books. The uh, paperback edition. The one that compiled the first four of Bachman's titles. Uh, Rage, Roadwork... Uh, the Running Man, and The Long Walk. Yeah, I think it was everything but Thinner. Thinner was not compiled. And then Blaze, obviously. Never got published till the 90s. 90s? I don't even know. I think it was the late 90s that Blaze came out. But wow. Man. You can really... I can't tell if that's like a... You can't really pick it up in the camera. It's kind of like a half circle there. Might be in the paper. Yeah, it's a little crease in the paper. You can kind of see it on the camera. But that is vivid. Oh my god. The Bachman books. Okay, on to the next one. <clears throat> Another Brodigam. Like I said, a lot of Brodigam in this. Not all Brodigam. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I am not sick. I'm just talking a lot. We're going on 10 minutes of me just babbling. <coughs> so, struggle with it as I will. This, of course, being The Monkey. Skeleton Crew, 1985. The paperback cover, I believe. It was the UK cover. I, I think it was just the paperback. Very nice, though. Let's move that one aside. Next up is the cover for Night Shift, the paperback from 
this guy. This is an iconic one. I believe this one is also found within Knowing Darkness, the Centipede Press kind of compendium of artists inspired by Stephen King. I could have sworn this is very much featured in that. Let's get rid of the little wax paper there. Oh my god. Hopefully that is coming out. You can see every strand in the wrapping of the hand. This is number 50. Did I get the last one? I'm 50 out of 50. That is awesome. All right. Mixing it up from Brodigan, <clears throat> we have Daryl Millsap, his cover of Roadwork. I believe this is a UK? Let me, excuse me while I look at the little cover here. Doesn't actually specify. It does say, you know, a little bit of uh, <clears throat> information. I'll point that out on the... I'll show you this. So we'll pull this guy out. We have the limitation card behind it. This is I didn't really show too much with the other ones. <clears throat> so the Certificate of Limitation Authenticity, signed, of course, by Suntup, and signed by Michelle Millsap Kin Kinley, the art artist's daughter, as well as what I believe is a facsimile of Millsap, because I believe he had passed away years back, but maybe I'm incorrect on that. Actually, it looks like I am incorrect on that, because it looks like he signed the print. So excuse me on that. I must have, when I did my research, I looked up the wrong, the wrong Daryl Millsap, apparently. But anyways, it tells you the edition size, uh, you know, signed and numbered 50, the artist prints 5, and the printer's proofs 5. Uh, it gives the print size, but it also tells you the original art. It was 15 by 20 on acrylic and illustration board, which is very cool. It gives you that information. So my apologies, Daryl, you are in fact still alive, or you were at the time of the printing, because you signed the print right down there. Number six of 50. Very, you know, Charles Bronson-esque road work. Anyways, I've got a lot to show you. This, oh man, <clears throat> this is the one that I am very excited about. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my God. This is a Michael Whalen. This is the cover to Firestarter uh, by... Look at that. Look at that. That wonderful fire starter is the very first Stephen King limited edition. Uh, this was the numbered edition. But the lettered edition was very famously the asbestos lettered edition. So... A little bit smaller than the other ones. This one's doesn't go the full 17 inches or 16 inches of the other ones, but that is fine. It's probably based on the proportions. But oh wow. Okay. So that. Whoa! Oh my god. That is incredible. Wow. Oh my god. 1980 Firestarter, signed by Michael Whalen down there in pencil. That is high quality beauty right there. Oh my god. Uh, I don't have too many things signed by Michael Whalen. That is just incredible. I gotta get that guy framed. It's gonna look nice. Beautiful. Got a couple left here. So, next up. We have the Glenn Orbeck series. Uh, Orbeck, uh, he rest in peace. He passed away a few years back as well. But he did sign these prints. This was sold in a three-pack. And it appears, yes it does, that all three of them have their own limitation. So there we go. We have Joyland, we have the Colorado Kid, and we have this Joyland, which is noticeably very much flimsy. <laughs> These ones have like have a nice cardstock to it, whereas uh, this 
authenticity certificate very much is just kind of like printer paper. I don't know. Maybe their supplies are a little running low. I still feel the stamp, though. Anyways, uh, there were three covers. Uh, Orbic, of course, being well known for his, well, his hard case crime covers, of which these were hard case crime. So we have the Colorado Kid. Beautiful. We have Joyland. Excellent cover. Joyland right there, signed by Orbic, of course, on the bottom. Then we have the illustrated Joyland. I believe this is the Titan cover. Wow. You know, I really feel sleazy looking at this and being and saying wow, like in my own Wilson voice. Like I'm, I'm saying wow over the beauty of the prints, of course. <laughs> and then finally. Uh, we have Sam Weber, Finders Keepers. Um, yeah, this, you know, is a more recent King title. Not that it's a bad thing. Uh, Mr. Mercedes was sold out. Sam Weber did that one as well. Um, Weber did not do the one for End of Watch. So End of Watch never got a uh, covers collection release. It's nothing to do with Suntup, nothing to do with Weber. I guess it has to do with Weber, technically, because Weber didn't do... Whew, got, wax paper got stuck there. Weber did not do the cover for the third one. It's kind of a shame. Signed by Weber. Interestingly enough, this one does not have the out of 50. It just says 10. Which is still cool. Very beautiful print. You might even be able to see the texture in this one as I try to hold this at every conceivable angle. I guess not, but that is incredible. Anyways, those are uh, some delves into the Suntup Covers Collection. Many years running. I think it was 2016 when they started. Um, don't quote me on that. But coming to an end in 2021, I want to get the Whalen one back out. I got them stacked high. Uh, the, coming to an end with some Michael Whalen. So I want this Whalen to kind of be on top as I close it out. Uh, anyways, the covers collection, various prints are still available over at suntup.press. Unfortunately, uh, the Dark Tower is not available, but there are these other beautiful prints available in the meantime. So, seriously, go check them out. The discount code is over. No more discount code. But you can still get yourself some beautiful prints at some very affordable costs. It's uh, very nice. Listen, I don't have too many of these, but uh, for the ones I do, including this package, wow, is all I can say. In my best Owen Wilson, wow. Anyways... Uh, thank you very much for watching. Check out suntup.press. Um, I was going to say that copies of Guests by Keelan Patrick Burke are available. I believe that actually just sold out. So congrats to Paul on another beautiful sellout. That sounds wrong. It sounds like he's selling out. Uh, selling out in terms of inventory, not in terms of, you know, sellout. Real big fish style. Um, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, the covers collection is coming to an end, but you can still buy the available covers at suntop.press. They also have these beautiful Zicle uh, prints of some of the covers. Not these covers, like his book covers. Uh, in particular, the Wayland cover for Fahrenheit 451 is available at suntop.press, as well as the uh, a beautiful print of the original I Am Legend cover. It is breathtaking. Anyways, it's going on 20 minutes here, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll do some more unboxings. Not necessarily covers collections unboxings, although I will have one for the Dark Tower when that is received in June. But uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you around next time.